park rangers have the daunting task of restorations along the Inca Trail, keeping the discovered ruins free of vegetation and uncovering new ones. Day three gave us our first glimpse of Machu Picchu town, otherwise known as Aguas Calientes, down in the valley. Hey you couch potatoes. We're on the fourth day, the last day of our hike, and it's been a great hike. It was a tough hike. Um, the second day was the hardest. We climbed over 1,200 meters, um, up to 4,200 meters high. It's the highest we've ever been. We're at the Sun Gate. This is that Sun Gate behind me. And we're on our way down to Machu Picchu. In 1911, Hiram Bingham, an American, was the first to expose Machu Picchu and its significance to the rest of the world. They guess it was constructed in about 1438. Half the area is terraces for agriculture and half is for temples and habitation. What makes Machu Picchu so spectacular is its remote location, nestled high in the mountains amongst steep cliffs. We have this kind of steps that are typical uh, on the walls of this Inca terrace, you know, so they had some special names in that Inca term, they were called like Sarunas, and in Spanish means uh, something like a floating, uh, escalinatas flotantes, you know, it means something like a floating steps. It's a typical, uh, you know, steps from these agricultural sections, because the other ones, they are stairs and typical from the urban sections. Right. Can I, can we try them? Cla Big step. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yes. Machu Picchu it is among the holy mountains of people because uh, in the south of this city, uh, you know, um, we can see that whole mountain. It's called Machu Picchu. Machu means old, and Picchu means summit of mountain. You know, so it means something like an old mountain, old summit, and that is very important. And in the north, we can observe, you know, that mountain that's called like Huayna Picchu. Huayna means young, you know, and a Picchu is the same, you know. So it means something like a young mountain or young summit. You know, it's very important. And in the east, we can see another one, the shorter, the first one, and it has some little, oh, oh, a big flag, you know, on the top. That's called like Putukusi, which means something like a happy mountain. So these mountains, they were very important mountains, holy mountains for people, because these mountains, they were residents of their god called Apus. No, which means something like a great spirits or angels. These stone pools were believed to be used for stargazing and viewing the Milky Way, which the Incas believed to be the celestial counterpart of the Urubamba River. Like finding a needle in a haystack, Kelly spotted Dave, Nancy and Tarina at the top of the ruins. With the help of a large tour group passing by, we yelled and waved and finally got their attention. Shorts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been trying to look for you guys. Yeah. Oh. oh, is that how you nice. finally spotted us? No, no. Oh, Trina saw us. Trina yeah. saw us. Yeah. Yeah. We had a whole French crowd. You heard the whole crowd? And Trina's going to 